Hello YouTube, this is Win5387 here with another Vintage Mac to add to my collection. As you can see here, I have another iMac G3 from summer 2001. And this one is an indigo, as you can see, which is indicated by the speaker covers and the rest of the case on this iMac. And if you look closely, you'll notice that this case is translucent, so you can see all the internal components such as the heat plate for the PowerPC G3 processor. And also I have the brochure that I first showed you in my backroom tour. I just decided to have that up on display. And it also came with a working pro keyboard. It didn't come with a mouse so I'm using the mouse for my Paramount G4 Quicksilver. So the first thing we should do is look at the ports we have. So on the front are two headphone ports and a slot loading disk drive. I'm not sure which one it is, which type of disk drive it is yet. A power button. And then if we go to the side here, as you can see, we have a headphone port, an audio in port, two Firewire 400 ports, a modem port, two USB ports, and an Ethernet port. And then these two buttons right here, this is for restarting the computer if it freezes or something it force restarts and this is a uh, program that you can boot up into your computer to sort of change the code I can't remember what you call it right at the moment so let's go ahead and fire it up there goes that wonderful startup chime from those Harman Kardon speakers on the front of the computer And then the macOS 10 startup screen. This is booting up into Slowly but surely. Eventually. Seems like the hard drive is doing quite a lot of work there. There is the dock, desktop, and the menu bar. And the time. This thing does have a dead uh, battery because it's actually Saturday at 9 in the morning. But, anyways. Let's first look at about this Mac. So it is a summer 2001 iMac G3 with 64 megabytes of RAM and a 500 megahertz PowerPC G3 processor. This computer originally came with uh, 128 megabytes when it was new, but I think the previous owner took out one of the modules for some reason. Who knows why? So let's look at some of the applications we have in the iMac. So we have Dock Extras, which at the time, before the menu bar was utilized to indicate your internet status or your battery, you had to put the uh, icons on the dock. So like as you can see here, there's a battery monitor, which was in the dock, or your signal strength, iTunes, and displays. And I actually have two down here already. I have the airport, because there's no airport, card installed, I don't have any internet, and the displays, which you can change the resolution and the color count. So that is Doc Extras. Uh, image Capture, there's iMovie, I think it's the first version of iMovie, iTunes, QuickTime, Address Book, Text Edit, Apple Works 6, 
and our utilities folder full of utilities such as disk utility, display calibrator, network utility, and digital color meter. So let's go ahead and look at one of the apps we have. Let's take a look at iMovie in here. This is, I believe, either the first version or very early version of iMovie installed on this computer. And then it'll come up with a uh, little startup screen too. I don't have any uh, video on this computer, but we could at least see some of the uh, graphics and such they have. I will call this a movie. Hmm, a little bit glitchy, but. Otherwise, it's uh, working kind of normally. So let's see what we have here. We have very few uh, transitions, as you can see by um, the small list of transitions that we have in here. Let's see what type of titles we have. You can get a preview of that title in here or right here I should mention that this iMac does also have Mac OS 9 installed on it so I think I will restart into Mac OS 9 and see what apps are in there. There's some more games on Mac OS 9 than are on Mac OS 10. So we can uh, see what there is in there. I have selected Mac OS 9.2 on the volume Macintosh HD. And let's restart. And there's the Happy Mac. And then, Mac OS 9.2. Welcome to Mac OS. And of course, we get all of our famous puzzle pieces at the bottom, which loads up the extensions in Mac OS 9. Maybe. Just had to give it some time to think. And then they are. It's going to beep at any minute now to tell me that the time is wrong. Possibly. Yep, there it goes. Network time error. Your Macintosh clock is set to a year before 1973. This may cause certain applications to behave erratically. There's nothing I can really do unless I just change the battery, but it works just fine. So let's take a look at some uh, apps in Mac OS 9. I had some games installed on this Mac. Somewhere. 
Well, I guess we got to, could take a look at some of the apps we have in uh, Mac OS 9 because there are some different apps. So there's Graphing Calculator, Network Browser, Simple Text, Apple Work 6, Apple Extras, Games, iMovie, iTunes, QuickTime, and some utilities. Let's see what, what the uh, games are like in Mac OS 9. There's Bugdom, Chromag, Rally, and Nanosaur. I've never heard of any of them. Let's see what it see what it looks like. Okay, so this is um interesting. I guess we can see what it's like. Um But I was not expecting this, uh, but okay. I have no idea how to play this game, so you know. These graphics aren't too bad for such an old machine. I have no idea where I'm going. Looks like a slug to me. Oh, I'm stuck. Ah. I'm stuck. Oh no. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? I'm completely confused, but... <laughs> this, this is bugged him. I am running into the flowers. Actually, it's like, hey, look at that. Okay, what do I do now? Ladybugs trapped in a cage. Um. Well, I'm, you know, I'm lost right now. I guess I'll just be running in circles. Well, I must I give it to it. These um, graphics are relatively smooth for such an old machine. Of course, at the time that was. A big deal, and I guess it's still a big deal today. And the speakers aren't too bad either, they're pretty good. So, um, that's bugged them. Oops. I guess I'll exit this program. Oh, I just found I had a jump, I hit command. Actually, well. That is bugged them. Oh, and I can use my mouse to move? I wish I'd known that before. Well. So, I'll quit bugged them. That was quite interesting. <laughs> well, hopefully you enjoyed the craziness and of uh, Bugdom and this iMac G3, which is a 500 megahertz PowerPC G3 processor. Thanks for watching this video and goodbye.